everyone! Welcome to 5 Minute Science Class where you can learn science concepts in just 5 minutes. Today, let's learn about scientific notation. He knows a lot about science stuff, 5 minutes all he In this video lesson, pag-uusapan natin ang scientific notation. What is it and why is it important? Scientific notation is just a shortcut method for expressing very large numbers and very small numbers. Let's discuss why is it important. In science, we spend a lot of time dealing with very huge numbers. For example, this is the average number of cells na matatagpuan mo sa katawan ng tao. Quite big, right? At medyo nakakapagod na magsulat ng zeros. Samantala, this number is the diameter of an atom. Sobrang liit naman. At sa ganitong mga klaseng mga numero, there is such a tendency na sumobra o magkulang yung zeros. Oh, no. Take note ha, hindi pa yan yung pinakamalalaki at pinakamaliliit na numbers na maaari nyo ma-encounter. For example, this number is the mass of an electron in grams. Masasabi natin napakagaan ng electron since ayun yung decimal point at napakaraming zeros. We have this thing called Google. Paano isusulat si Google? Magsulat ka ng 1, tas dagdagan mo ng 100 zeros. Kapagod naman talaga. Dahil writing numbers with too many zeros is such a pain na imbento ang scientific notation. Ganito ang itsura ng scientific notation. A times 10 raised to E. A is called the coefficient. 10 is called the base. At ang E ay ang ating exponent. Sa pagkoconvert ng sobrang laki o sobrang liit na number into scientific notation, we should take note of three things. One, Ang ating coefficient ay dapat laging less than 10 but greater than or equal to 1. Pangalawang dapat tandaan, ang ating base ay laging 10, hindi yan mapapalitan. Pangatlo, ang ating exponent is an integer. Ibig sabihin, pwede maging positive or negative ang ating exponent. Subukan natin mag-convert gamit ang mga numbers kanina. Isang tip lang mga kapatid, ang mga number na naka-standard form ay laging naka times 10 raised to 0. Since any number raised to 0 is equal to 1, ganun pa rin magiging value niya. Kaya okay lang na mag-assume na naka times 10 raised to 0 itong mga numbers ito. Total, sanay naman tayo mag-assume. Take a look at this. You should remember that when you move the decimal point to the left, the power of the exponent goes up. Ibig sabihin, mag increase ang value ang ating exponent. On the other hand, when you move the decimal point to the right, the power of the exponent goes down. Ibig sabihin, magdi-decrease ang value ng exponent niya. Dahil ang objective natin ay magkaroon ng coefficient na mababa sa 10 pero greater than or equal to 1, kailangan natin i-move ang decimal point niya. At since ang decimal point ng mga whole numbers ay laging nasa dulo, dito tayo magsisimula. Let's move the decimal point to the left until we have a coefficient na mababa sa 10 but greater than or equal to 1. We begin. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. Yay! We move the decimal point 13 times to the left. Ibig sabihin, ang exponent natin ay magpa-power up 13 times. Next step, kopyahin natin yung coefficient na nakuha natin, which is 3.27. We shall omit lahat ng zeros na nilagpasan natin. Isulat na natin ang kanyang bagong kapangyarihan. Dahil siya ay nag-move 13 times to the left, ang 0 magiging positive 13. At iyan ang ating scientific notation. Testing naman natin itong napakalita number kanina. Dahil nandito ang kanyang decimal point, syempre dito tayo magsisimula. Kapunta rito para masatisfy natin ang requirement na less than 10 but greater than or equal to 1. We need to move the decimal point to the right. Kaya yung times 10 raised to 0 niya ay magpa-power down every time na mag-move tayo to the right. So tayo na't magbilang. We'll have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. We move the decimal point 10 times to the right. So ang kanyang magiging bagong exponent ay negative 10. Sulat na natin ang coefficient nating bago. We will have 1. Ang ating scientific notation ay 1 times 10 raised to negative 10. Ayan ang scientific notation niya. Let's check your understanding. I have here 4 items na mali ang mga coefficients. Bakit? Greater than 10, greater than 10, less than 1, less than 1. Ang gagawin natin is to turn these numbers into correct or proper scientific notation. 
Let's see. 25 times 10 brings to 8. We need to move the decimal point to the left. Therefore, the exponent goes up. So we will have 2.5 times 10 raised to 9. Next item. 25 decimal point here. Move to the left. The exponent goes up. Therefore, our answer is 2.5 times 10 raised to negative 7. Very good. Item number 3. We need to move the decimal point to the right. Therefore, the power of the exponent goes down. We will have 2.5 times 10 raised to positive 7. Last item. We need again to move the decimal point to the right. The power of the exponent goes down. Copy the coefficient. Copy the base. Since the power of the exponent goes down, negative 8 becomes negative 9. Did you get it right? Very good. That ends our video lesson. Sana marunong ko na mag-express na malalaki at maliliit na numbers into scientific notation. Pero take note mga kapatid, hindi lahat ng bagay sa buhay kapag nahirapan ka na, idadaan mo na lang sa shortcut. Gets mo? Goodbye!